This is Tacker 901, episode 78, setting up WordPress. I'm Michael Posmar. And I'm Mike Dobin. And today we're going to teach you how to set up a WordPress. WordPress is an open source content management system that basically lets you make a blog or even a static web page with a lot of ease. This episode is going to build upon what we talked about in episode 32, web hosting. Uh, in episode 32, we talked about how to set up a, an account with one and one and how to use the one and one website builder to create your own website. The first part about setting up an account and creating a domain name is still the same, but instead of using the web build, website creator, we're going to use the WordPress software, uh, and specifically the version 2.7 of the WordPress software. So, first thing you got to do is go to wordpress.org and download uh, the WordPress files. It comes in a zip. Um, you just got to download it and unzip it so it unpackages, and it will be a folder on your computer. Right. So let's download this here and we want to open it up with our unzipping utility which we did cover in the previous episode right so we want to extract this to the desktop and let's make it put it in a new folder uh, called WordPress oh I don't need the slash alright uh, extract it all right, so while that's all running, we have to get our website set up. So this uh, demo um, builds upon, as I said, what we did in episode uh, 32. Um, it assumes that you already have an account and an account with a web hoster, and we're going to use the uh, one and ones web hosting service to show you how to do this. Um, so first thing you have to do is make a domain that you want to use with the system. And I've set up the domain. Um, we, what did we do? We did demo.tecker.net. So I have to go to the uh, demo.tecker.net here, and I have to go under destination. And these instructions differ slightly for each web host. <coughs> and I have to change the destination to point to a folder which we're going to upload soon. And also, you should notice that when you change the destination on a domain, first of all, registering the domain usually takes about well, a subdomain takes about like 10 minutes. If you buy a full domain, it costs, usually takes about a day to register. And also, once you change the location, that takes about another 10 minutes. So what I usually do when I set up WordPress, because I do this a lot, is uh, you, I, first thing I do is I download WordPress, and first thing off the bat I do is I set up the domain, set up the, the database, which you're going to get to, because database also takes about 10 minutes. So I've kind of streamlined the process, because I've done this a lot. Right. So destination, we're going to do it in a new directory, and um, we're going to call this. This is going to be us. Uh, let's do WordPress. slash uh, tecker demo WordPress. And also make sure that that's the folder that it's uploaded. So like we're probably going to upload our WordPress, and it's called WordPress on the computer. But we're going to have to make sure we change it to tecker demo WordPress. Right. We're going to so the domain points to that folder. Upload stuff to that folder. All right. So now that that has been changed so now we're ready to upload it and to upload we're going to use FTP um, file transfer protocol right the best FTP program is called FileZilla it's a free download um, and however if you're just going to up upload this you can get away with using the um, Microsoft's uh, built-in FTP client built into Windows I'm personally not fond of it um, 
probably because I upload a lot of different stuff to the web, a lot. Right. So I'm used to a real FTP client like FileZilla that gives you more options, it allows you to manage the permissions and such. But I guess this will work. Right, so this this will work. Um, so we're gonna, actually we don't have to add a network place, we can just type it into the, open a new Windows Explorer window and type in uh, FTP colon and then a domain that's on our service. So my, I'm gonna just enter in one of my domains. Doesn't matter which one. Uh, it can be the new domain that you just set up. All right, so now it's gonna ask me for my username. Which unfortunately with, one, with 101 has these obnoxious long user strings that aren't editable. Right, so I've logged in with that. And now you see I've logged into my FTP site and I have a lot of stuff on here. <laughs> um, so we're gonna open up that folder that we created, the Tecker demo WordPress. And then we're going to uh, open up the WordPress folder and copy the actual files. So this is what Dovin was talking about. These are the actual files here. Here you'll see three folders and uh, several files. We're gonna copy all of that into our actual folder it's important to make sure it's not like a, it's not. It's not, so we don't want. Tecker demo WordPress slash WordPress, because that will not work. I've done right. that a bunch of times, and I get really frustrated about it. Because right. it won't work unless you go to the specific site it's specified right. to. So that folder that we set up in the created domain step should be exactly the folder that you put in these three folders and all the files. So now it's. This is going to take a while to upload because it's probably 500 files about. Right, probably takes about five to 10 minutes. In the meanwhile, uh, while this is uploading, we're going to need another step, which is an SQL or a MySQL database. Uh, so what you do is you go into your control panel, wherever you set up a new MySQL database. And one on one, you have to go um, to the administration panel and then select MySQL administration. and then uh, we're gonna have to create a new MySQL database. With um, the cheapest account of one one I think you only get about 10 databases. If you get the middle or the home account, you get 25, which is what I have, and I've, I don't think I've broken 10 yet. And one, you have to enter a description for what the database is gonna be. Um, this does not matter whatsoever and most web hosts actually you don't have to do this so I'm just going to call it Tecker Demo WordPress. You have to select MySQL version 4 or 5. Um, WordPress does not care about that. Actually the steps that we're doing are going to be very similar to steps for installing other web apps like Drupal or MediaWiki. Um, so they're, they're very much similar where you have to set up a subdomain for it, create a folder for it, uh, download the files on the website, copy the folder files via FTP, make a new database, and then the steps we're going to show after this, which is uh, run the install script and give it the database username and password. So now it generated you a database name, a location, username, password, and it gives you the description. Unfortunately, you can't make your own information for it. It right. has to give it to you, but it's more secure this way too. Right. Because it's harder to guess. Okay, so um, yeah, this is a long password that we're never going to need other than right now. Uh, so now you have to wait for your FTP to finish. So once you have all your files uploaded to your FTP site, you're ready to get started. Um, and in new tab, so we want to keep that database information open because we're going to need it. Uh, in a new tab, go to the site that you set up. So uh, we have demo. Demo.tacker.net. Demo demo right, that new domain that you have set up. And, and it gives you, it says it's an error message, which kind of bothers me because it always scares me when it does it, but all it really means is you don't have a configuration file just because it's new and you don't have one. So all you gotta do is say create a configuration file. Right, all right, so that was easy. Now we have to give it the database information. Um, so the database name. And with one and one, the, that information was provided to us. And um, copy and paste saves you much time because who really wants to go back and forth and type them. Right. With some web hosts, you actually have to create this stuff. Um, but I guess we talked about that earlier. The database password. Um, and the database host. Um, 
it says 99% of the time you don't have to change this, but with one and one, actually, you, you do. do have to <laughs> change it. Most other web hosts, they're right. You don't. Unfortunately, one one lets you, but with their prices, you can't argue. Right. Table prefix um, does not matter. Just leave it. <laughs> don't touch it. Yep. All right. So that's done. Now we have to. All right, Sparky, you're ready to go. And their install takes no time. Or right. It's so fast. Um, although we do have to give it a blog um, title, so this is going to be the Tekker. I've done multiple one one. I've done multiple WordPress installs simultaneously, which is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> your email address. Although it gets uh, confusing. I don't want to tag on that. And allow allow my blog to appear on search engines like Google and Technorati. This is good if you want to have a blog like I do and you want people to find your blog. That will make sure it's listed and do search engine optimization to make sure you can get right. out there. Right. So if you unless you want unless it's like a secret project or something that like maybe you're developing it or it's still not ready to go out, you might want to uncheck that until you're ready. Right. Or if you have a private thing. So, you know, that's pretty self explanatory. Hit install. All right, it's no. installed. Copy the password that it provides you, which I recommend. Well, you could keep it, but you might want to change it to something you're used to using. All right, so now we're ready to log on to the administration panel using that password we provided. And now the first thing I like to do is change that password from something. Um, but here you see the new WordPress 2.7 dashboard. This was actually just to upgrade this week. Yeah. I like it a lot. Um, so kind of something new to get used to, but um, let's just go back to users and change that password real quick. So that admin account, we want to edit. Yep, edit. Things are a little different, so yeah. we're not used to this yet. Um, um, edit, and we want to change our password here. Um, you have I'm to not going to twice. Yep, not going to do this now, but that's probably the first thing you want to do. Make it something that you actually know. Another thing you're going to want to do is upload a theme. Because all WordPresses come with the exact same theme, and you don't want to look like the boring old, I just installed it, and I'm too late to change my theme. Go to, if you go to wordpress.org slash extend slash themes, there's probably hundreds and hundreds of themes you can choose from. And all you got to do is download it, unzip, then go upload it to your site slash WP content slash right. themes, and you upload it to there. Right. So there, there you go. Themes and it also supports uploading plugins. Which we should are, do the exact same thing. You go to WordPress.com or WordPress.org slash extend slash plugins and same thing, upload it, and then you activate it in the admin panel when you're logged into your account. Right. So we could upload our themes. You see they have two themes that it comes Classic with. Classic and default. Right. Both so, of them are kind of boring. Maybe right. you want them. And then to actually activate the theme, log on to your WordPress site. And click. Uh, go to the appearance here in the left-hand column, and then themes, and then you can choose which themes you want. Uh, right now, here are the two classic and default, and when you upload more, the more will show up. Um, plugins, same thing here. You have to go into plugins, and you actually do have to check, um, not check, but actually activate the plugin to activate it. One plugin that we highly recommend is the WordPress Auto Upgrade plugin, because that way, when WordPress has updates, it's more or less a, uh, it's not really one click affair, it's more like Well, you do, there is an automated version where you just click, select the automated version, let it go. Right. It does everything for you, then you just have to upgrade the, click a button to upgrade the database, reactivate all your plugins, and you're good to go. Right. But when you upgrade, there is a chance that some of your plugins will not work anymore, because I used to have one called Plug Installer, which is great. It makes installing plugins even easier. But when I installed the newest version, it broke it, and I had to get rid of it. Right. So highly recommend the WordPress auto update thing. All right, so once you have your site all up and running, you just go post, add new. You can and make then pages. And the cool thing with WordPress is it's open source. So like the uh, themes, if you know code, if you go under appearance, you can actually edit the themes yourselves and make them more your own, Right. which is always kind of neat. All right, well, let's, let's talk about adding a new post. So we go add new, then we'll do, you know, this is my first post test. And then yeah. I hit publish. And now this post is on my site. I can go here to visit site. visit site, and it will actually open up the website. And there's your post. And hello world post also comes out of the box. Right. If you want to have a more professional blog, you might want to get rid of that. So this is that boring theme Dovin was talking about. Yeah. Uh, 
to go back to delete that uh, hello world post, you can actually go posts and then you go, um, I guess, edit. Yeah, here, and then we go that hello world one, and we can just delete that. And you can also bulk them. If you click, if you want to get rid of both of them, you can select both of them. Or to get rid of everything you have, just click the top check box, go drop down, delete. It'll right. ask you, are you sure? Get rid of it. One thing Dovin talked about is pages. Pages are basically like static posts that you can set up, and um, they go along the side. Actually, the 911 website is a uh, WordPress blog, 911.com. Tacker. That's one of the things I love about WordPress is though it's primarily a blogging platform, it works for podcasts. You could use it for a static website. If right. There are little tweaks you can do to it. Right. So this is our it's theme. It's very versatile. Yeah. Our theme is a very, a very white theme. It's actually like the newscaster theme or something. We've set up stuff in the sidebar. Here are different pages. For example, there's an about us page. Uh, and this is sort of like a static. If post. you haven't read these yet, I recommend you go read them. Another thing to pay attention to is the comments. So when people start commenting on your site, uh, you can go to comments and then you can um, remove comments or mark them as spam. I recommend the Akismet um, plugin because it lets you filter out all your spam comments because people might want to put junk ads just to mess with you or just to advertise stupid right. products or whatever. It's a very handy plugin. All you have to do is go to the plugins page. Uh, sign up for a WordPress.com API key and then uh, just use it and it's very handy. It'll catch a lot of spam comments so you don't have to deal with them personally, right. which happened to me. Yep. It's a new, major nuisance. Right. And I, if all this part about setting up WordPress was, uh, you know, seemed too hard for you, if you don't want to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one site where it is a small monthly charge, like under $5 a month, um, if you don't want to deal with FTP or setting up databases, uh, then you can actually sign up for a WordPress.com account where they'll host the WordPress site on their site. Um, and that they do offer a free version. However, they don't let you store as many files or as many pictures on there. And you can't use plugins or themes, or maybe right. themes, but you can't use plugins. Right, or if they, they maybe have themes, but they maybe only have their their theme is that they offer, whereas you can totally customize it. And you're also it. stuck to a subdomain on WordPress.com, which I mean, some people don't care, but if you want a more professional image, you probably want your own domain. Right. So you could the, always have a redirect. But. For the, the less than $5 a month, you get your own uh, .com name. So you can say, you know, um, Dovin.net or, uh, you know, so whatever, dot, whatever you want .com. So that looks, you know, as Dovin said, more professional than so and so dot wordpress dot com. I'm Michael Plasmar. And I'm Mike Dovin. Check out WordPress, it's a great platform. To watch this episode again or to watch any of our prior episodes, you can visit our website, 911.tecker.net, T E C K E R. And on the website, we have uh, our prior episodes as well as you can view them directly on the website or you can download them in WMV for Windows, iPod, or QuickTime format for your iPod or if you have iTunes installed, an MP3 audio only version of the show, and a WMV HD version of the show which you can download via BitTorrent that looks really, really clear uh, and in pristine HD quality. And instructions for downloading via BitTorrent are also on the site. On the right hand side we have more information about us and about each of the members of the show as well as quick links to all of our prior episodes and links to the RSS feeds for each of the formats that we release the show in, and links to subscribe to the show in iTunes if you have an iPod, an Apple TV, an iPhone, any Apple device. You can click on that link in either video or audio format. You can also, in iTunes, search for Tecker, T-E-C-K-E-R, uh, in the iTunes store, and then you can find our podcast that you can subscribe to free. Also, if you do not have, a, if you do not have an iPod, if you have like a generic MP3 player, then you can use the, uh, you can still listen to our show if on our website you subscribe to this MP3 audio version in a feed catcher, in a pod catcher like Juice. Uh, you can search for Juice on Google, download that program, and then it'll load the shows automatically onto your uh, generic MP3 playing device. If you have any questions about the show or about technology, you can send us an email at 911 at tecker.net or you can leave us a voicemail at 
2847. Thank you so much for watching Tucker 901.